Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and it shut the fuck up, Mr. Clickbait for the win. Get the fuck out of my video. That skinny chicken shit. What's up, guys? I'm here back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. So it's kind of a time on today's video. I'm just showing you guys how to get this awesome modded outfit using two new glitches after the gun running update. The two glitches being uh, a new method to get the CEO outfits because the old method is patched, and a new method to getting the flight helmet because that is also patched. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so for the first part of this, I'm going to show you guys how to get the heavy vest that you would normally see on one of the uh, CEO bodyguard outfits. But this is an entirely new method and it uses one of the new gunnery missions. So go ahead and have a friend start up the mission work dispute from his or her MOC and invite you. And the reason you can't just host it yourself is because for some reason the host does not get the vest but the second player does. So go ahead and have a friend start it up or just join a random. It doesn't really matter as long as you're in the mission. Alright guys, so when the mission has started, make sure you are the person with the red pants as you see on screen here. If you are, then go ahead and proceed with a glitch. You want to go ahead and stay inside the cargo bob, go down to your inventory via interaction menu, go to body armor, and start swapping between standard and heavy armor. Do not switch to any of the other armor, but swap between heavy and armor, left, right, left, right, and just keep doing that. It doesn't matter how fast you go, but keep going between the two until the bottom right hand corner countdown runs down to zero, and it will give you a the field screen. Now when it says failed and it brings you to the screen where you have to either restart or continue, you want your friend or anybody else to press A to continue back to free roam. And if you did this correctly, you should spawn back in a free roam with this outfit on. Now if you're doing this random and they do hit RT instead of A to continue, that is completely fine. Just go ahead and redo these steps until everybody presses continue to continue back to free roam. As you see guys, I spawned back in here with that same outfit that was used in the mission. It has the deadline helmet, the CEO vest, and so on. So if you want to keep the helmet as well, go ahead and use a bike. I would not use a car to go to the clothing store and just go ahead and save the outfit there. Now I went ahead and made two different saves. One for the outfit as it came from the mission and one for the self pilot outfit we're about to make. So once you have it saved, go ahead and swap out the pants and tactical gloves, whatever kind of pants and gloves you want. I went with the heavy com black combat pants and the black tactical gloves for a more stealthy look. Uh, just be sure not to change the jacket or shirt as it will remove the tactical vest that we just got on our character. Once you're done with that, it's time to get the flight helmet onto this outfit. So make sure you have a bike waiting outside for you and go ahead and go up to the cash register and switch to the black flight suit. Once you switch to the black flight suit, make sure that your helmet is set to the black flight suit. So when you get on the bike, it will put that helmet on. Once you have that set as your automatic helmet, go ahead and go to the interaction menu, go to style, and hover over the outfit we just switched out of the mission. And then you want to go ahead and go up the parachute, press Y to get on the bike, and quickly go down to the outfit you want the helmet on before it puts it on. Now, before you could just go ahead and go back in the store, save it, and you would have the flight suit helmet on there. However, they patched it so when you switch to a different outfit and then switch back, the flight helmet will not be there. However, there is a way around this. Alright guys, so the new method to get the flight suit helmet saved permanently onto an outfit is basically the same thing. You get the flight suit, you set the helmet, you get on the bike, switch to it, blah, yada, yada, yada. This time, instead of getting off the bike and running into the store to save it, what you want to do is go ahead and make sure your spawn location is at last location. And you want to go ahead and go back to story mode by leaving GTA Online through the start menu while you are on the bike and have the helmet on you. So when you go ahead and do that and you get back into story, 
go ahead and pause and go to online, go to play GT online and go to invite only session. Now, when you load back in, you should notice that the flight suit helmet is on you as well as the tube with it. So go ahead and run back into the store there and save the outfit. And now that you have done this extra step and this new way to do it, you should notice that when you save it, switch to an outfit and then switch back, it is there permanently. It does not disappear like it did before. Now when you press A to switch back in the outfit once, it will only show the flight suit helmet, but if you press A again, it will also show the tube. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. So now you have the self-pilot modded outfit, brand new in GTA Online gun running update. Anyways guys, pretty much all there is to it. It's really not that hard to make this kind of outfit. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with these types of outfit glitches. I'll probably post some more here soon on the channel, so do subscribe and stay tuned for that. Uh, leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Uh, before we go, I want to kind of point something out here real quick. So as I was doing this video and making it, I switched to my Juggernaut outfit that I had saved from a glitch previously. I'm pretty sure it's been patched. I'm not really sure about that, so don't quote me on that. But I switched to the Juggernaut outfit, and after a few seconds, it looks like Rockstar has patched it to where it just removes the outfit. It somehow gives you the duffel bag there. So that's kind of a bummer, guys. I think you can still use the outfit in like heist missions and such where the outfit is locked to just whatever you pick but uh, in free realm unfortunately you can't use that juggernaut outfit anymore which really sucks anyways guys i'm not gonna drag this out any longer i really hope you did enjoy so leave a like down below if you did subscribe if you're new and i hope you all have a wonderful day